Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about if I could only have 20 lipsticks for the rest of my life, which ones would they be? If you guys like the video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. And we have 20 lipsticks to get into, so let's go ahead and get started. This video idea is from the beautiful Charlotte Holcroft. She has a YouTube channel and that will be the first link down in the description box. She did this video a few days ago and I absolutely loved the idea. Now these are not my top 20 lipsticks. If I were to show you my top 20 lipsticks, you will be seeing 20 nude lipsticks for sure because that is what I reach for the most that is my favorite type of lipstick and in this video I factored in the fact that I might want to have one red lipstick so that I can wear on occasion and maybe like a darker pink things like that I not only went for my absolute favorites which I mean most of these are my absolute favorites but I also decided that I needed to add a few different tones to my collection so that I can be covered for the rest of my life if these were the only lipsticks that I could keep <laughs> I actually did a video very similar to this one but with eyeshadow palettes. It's called If I Could Only Keep Five Eyeshadow Palettes and I was very strategic in planning that I needed all of the shades and whatnot in my eyeshadow collection if I could only keep five. So I'll go ahead and link that video up there if you guys are interested in watching it afterwards. Anyways, let's get started with the first lipstick and it's actually the lipstick that I am wearing right now and it is a Bobbi Brown lipstick that I randomly found because it was gifted to me when I worked at Nordstrom. It's called the Lux Matte Lip Color in Semi Naked and I decided to start with this one because I have to wear this one with a lip liner otherwise I look deceased. This is a super 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 light nude lipstick with a little bit of a hint of pink to it. It's the one that I'm wearing right here in the middle and in her video Charlotte did not use any lip liner so I decided to just start with the one that definitely needs a lip liner and then I won't use any more lip liners after this. I'm wearing the pinky brown lip liner from Huda. But this is how I would wear this lipstick. And this lipstick is the one that I would combine when I have a super, super dark and intense, very sultry, like black smoky eye, very rich brown smoky eye, like darker than what I'm wearing. It looks good with what I'm wearing, but even darker. Because it is the lightest nude lipstick that I would wear. As far as the formula, this Bobbi Brown lipstick formula is a little bit more matte than I usually prefer, but it is very long lasting and it applies very nicely. So for those days when you need the lightest possible nude lipstick ever, this is the lipstick that I would reach for. The second lipstick I would totally have to keep in my collection would be this one right here. This is the only drugstore lipstick I'm going to mention because if I could only have 20 lipsticks for the rest of my life, they need to be the best of the best. And this lipstick right here makes the cut. This is from L'Oreal. It's in the color I Create and it is a combination of the color and the formula that makes this one absolutely make the list. This is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks and I just love the color, the longevity, the wear, and how this lipstick feels on my lips. It is the thinnest lipstick, yet it has a really nice medium coverage. I like to build it up. You don't need a lip liner with it. It has a satin finish, semi-matte finish. Um, it just feels like you're putting water on your lips, yet it gives you the best coverage, the best finish. It just looks so good. I think this lipstick also complements a lot of different complexions. It's a light nude shade, but it's dark enough that you can absolutely wear it on its own without a lip liner and it gives you a little bit of color to your lips. I think this lipstick looks flattering with absolutely any makeup that you want to put on because it has a true neutral undertone. Like I was putting it on with this more cool toned eye look and I was thinking maybe it's a little bit too warm for it, but it actually kind of works. So it is a perfect neutral undertone tone in a lipstick that you can absolutely wear with anything. Very affordable. I absolutely love this lipstick and highly recommend it. 
Another lipstick that has a very similar formula to the one I just showed you is this one from YSL. This is the YSL Tatouage Couture Lipstick in the color number 25. Now the reason I would pick this one is because I need a light pink shade in my collection if I could only keep 20 lipsticks for the rest of my life. See this is the cool tone type of color that I would um, pair this eye look with. Funny enough, this lipstick reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal lipstick and YSL is owned by L'Oreal so I'm sure that the formulas are not too different. This is a perfect lipstick for a bride or any lipstick in this tatouage couture collection is perfect for a bride because it's not only giving you the color that you need in a very flattering natural way but it also stains your lips underneath which means that if you are at a party at your wedding, etc., you are going to have the lipstick on for hours and hours and hours on end. This is my favorite lipstick formula that YSL makes. I think that the wand is ingenious because you can get very close to all of your edges without the need of a lip liner. I love this type of lipstick. I love the formula. It feels so comfortable on the lips, not too matte. It has like a satin finish to it and it will last again for hours on end so highly recommended if I could only keep 20 lipsticks in my collection I would definitely need a tone like this one I'm personally not hugely into warm tone lipsticks but I think that it's definitely a staple in a collection you need to have a lipstick to match every look so one of the only warm tone lipsticks that I chose was this one right here from Merit Beauty and this is the Merit Beauty gloss oil in the color pink beet. This one doesn't necessarily match this eye look because it is a bit on the warm side, but this is what it would look like on its own. So as you can see, it is a beautiful lipstick with a natural finish and it just has a little bit of a hint of warm. I love that this one is a very glossy, very shiny, very juicy lipstick, yet it's not sticky at all whatsoever. It feels more so like a lip balm. I love how this one hydrates my lips a lot and I really love the shine that it has. Plus it has a little bit of a hint of a warm tone in it. So I think I need it in order to complete my 20 lipstick collection. And as you can see, if you're careful with it, you can kind of get away without putting a lip liner on and just line your lips very carefully with the tip of the wand. By the way, any gloss oil that I mention in this video, because there is a couple more coming, it's not going to be as long lasting of a lipstick. You do have to reapply those every so often. However, they are the most nourishing and hydrating lipsticks that I am going to talk about. Basically, the more hydrating and nourishing a lipstick is, the easier it's going to come off your lips. Since we're on the subject, let's talk about the Squeaky Clean Lip Balm from Westman Atelier. This was a newer discovery for me. I tried it for the first time last month and I immediately fell in love with it. I absolutely love the formula of this one. I love the shine. I love the way it feels on your lips. This is a truly moisturizing product. Now this one is one that every time I've worn it, I have worn it with a lip liner underneath because otherwise it's not as impressive. <laughs> Usually I put it on top of a lip liner and my lips look so freaking juicy and just like shiny and beautiful. This one is also not sticky at all whatsoever. I have mine in the color Nana and I have loved it ever since I got it. I fight myself not to put it on every time I do my makeup nowadays because it just feels so good. I always want to reach for it. It is a little bit on the pricier side. I think it currently is also sold out. But I think it's worth every penny. Honestly, if you want to treat yourself to a really nice, juicy, comfortable, shiny lip balm oil, this is it right here. It's beautiful and I recommend it a thousand percent. Also, it comes in this cute little pouch that um, for some reason I use. If I'm only keeping 20 lipsticks, I need to have the option of having a bright pink for summer. And I could not think of any other one than the Kaleidos pink that came in their newest collection launch, the Flower Power collection, I think it was called. The only negative about this one is that you can't buy it by itself. It does come in a lip kit with Three other lipsticks that are amazingly beautiful as well. But to have the option of getting it on its own 
sure would be amazing. Anyways, I absolutely love this bright pink. I think it is very flattering on my skin. It is called Cactus Flower. And this Kaleidos Matte formula is actually very long lasting, not fully transfer resistant, but it does not transfer much. And I do love that it feels very comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel drying. My lips don't look like they hurt. <laughs> um, and I absolutely love this particular color. I would probably not pair it with as dark of an eye look as I have on right now but it is a really beautiful lipstick on its own here you go imagine it with something else I just really love the formula the shade the finish everything about this lipstick I love and it's definitely one that makes the cut and I would keep in my 20 lipstick collection the next lipstick we're going to talk about is this double-ended Chanel lipstick. The color of it that I'm keeping is the number 69 Tender Beige. And this lipstick is an absolute staple. This is one of the first lipsticks I would recommend buying if you didn't have any lipsticks at all right now. I think it matches so many skin tones. It is a really nice medium-toned nude. It's not too pink. It's not too browned neutral right in the center. I love the longevity of this lipstick it is transfer proof it will last you for hours on end you can absolutely eat with this one and after lunch the lipstick will still be on which I feel like I can't say that about any of the rest of the lipsticks that I'm mentioning this one has the longest lasting power out of them all and I absolutely love the formula the color everything about this lipstick is perfection there is a reason that this is like the most hyped up Chanel product it is absolutely incredible and if you haven't tried it yet I highly recommend it of course I needed a red long lasting lipstick in my collection and this is the one that I went for this one is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in the color Star Woman. This is a blue toned red, which are my absolute favorite ones. And I feel like out of all of the different shades of red that they are, this is the one that I feel the most confident in. I feel like this one is flattering to my skin. I don't do red lipsticks that often because I feel like they can be a little messy and I'm a little bit of a mess. But whenever I do, it needs to be a bold in your face type of red lipstick and I feel like that is exactly what I get with this Star Woman lipstick from NARS. So out of my 20 lipsticks, I'm only having one red and this is it right here. This is perfect for parties, holidays, just any time that you want to feel empowered and you need a red lipstick on, this would be my lipstick of choice. I love that this NARS formula is very long lasting and it feels very thin on your lips while still having a semi matte finish which gives me the security that it's just not going to expand and go all over my face which I feel like can sometimes happen if you use a more creamy type of a bold lip you know I feel like for my bold lipsticks I definitely love to have either a matte or a semi matte formula because I feel more secure in the fact that they're going to stay in place. So that's why my Kaleidos pink was a matte lipstick. This one is a matte lipstick. And the other bold color that we're going to get to in a minute, also a more matte, long-lasting formula. This is what it would look like, by the way, if it wasn't clashing with my eyeshadow. I feel like I'm too insecure to have a red lipstick on for a long period of time because I feel like I, by the end of the day, I would have it all over my face somehow. See, like, that would be me by the end of the night. Let me introduce you guys to my favorite vampy color lipstick. And I promise you I can make it look a lot better than this. It's just that it's my ninth lipstick and I don't know where my lips are anymore. <laughs> Anyways, this lipstick is from Dior and it is the Rouge Dior Liquid in the color 979. I absolutely love this Dior lipstick formula because it is one of those matte liquid lipsticks that don't dry out your lips. It actually feels really nice and creamy on. It is very long lasting. And I absolutely love this color. This would be the only vampy looking color that I would keep in my collection. I think it's so flattering. It has sort of a metallic finish, which I usually do not like metallic finish in a lipstick at all. It is the only one that has that sort of finish. But I feel like with this color, it works because it gives a little bit of light to a very dark color that otherwise would just kind of look kind of like black almost on my lips because I'm so pale. 
and with the little bit of luminosity that the metallic finish gives it you can see more dimension on the lipstick the, and you can actually see the wine burgundy color that the lipstick has much better this is what it would look like if my eyes weren't clashing with it and I would definitely wear this one with a much lighter eye than I have on today this color lipstick is my favorite for the months of November and December I feel like holiday and the fall type of season I think it looks so beautiful and so flattering for those months. I absolutely love this lipstick. Don't be surprised at the variety that I'm giving you so far because I think I'm done with the color lipsticks and from here on it's all nudes, but I needed to cover all my bases, you know? Let's go back to lighter and glossier colors. This next one I'm showing you is the Pat McGrath Labs Prima Donna Lost Gloss. I have a few Pat McGrath glosses in my collection and this is by far my favorite shade. I absolutely love that this one is a very juicy looking, very glowy gloss without having any sparkle in it and it definitely has the best cool undertone for a pinky lip gloss. It has just the perfect amount of pigment in it. I love to pair this one with eye looks like the one I'm wearing today. I always wear it with a lip liner. It's a little bit weird without a lip liner, but I love the finish, the formula, the shade is perfect. And I think this would absolutely be a staple in my collection. Now, this is one of two glosses that I would be keeping if I could only keep 20 lipsticks. What I mentioned earlier were lip balms and lip oils, which is different. But for true glosses, this is also not sticky at all whatsoever. A little bit longer lasting than a lip oil or a lip balm. But still, this one is not sticky at all whatsoever, which is definitely my favorite thing about the Pat McGrath lip gloss formula. My favorite lip gloss formula of them all. Mother Pat just knows best, okay? <laughs> I absolutely love this lip gloss and I also love the other shades that I have of it. But if I had to keep one, um, I think this would definitely be it right here. Any good lipstick collection needs to have a clear gloss. It is a staple. You need a clear gloss that you can combine with any tone of lipstick in your collection. And the one I chose to keep is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Collagen Lip Balm in the color Refresh Rose, which is not really a color, it's a clear lip gloss. I love this one because it gives me a little bit of plump. It feels very minty and fresh on my lips. So it's got collagen in it, so it's going to long-term help with lines on the lips. And it also is a very nice, basic, clear gloss, which I feel like we all need in our collection. So this one right here is definitely one that I needed to have as well. This next one is one that I'm really hoping it's still being sold. It is from NARS. It is called the Afterglow Lip Balm and the color is Fast Line. I feel like this one doesn't really look like much. Again, this is something that I usually wear with a lip liner. However, I love how these feel. They feel like a true lip balm, super nourishing on the lips. I feel like this would be perfect to have all summer because it protects your lips against dryness. I love this color because it has a really nice cool undertone so it's going to match with any purples or pinks that you might want to put on your lips and I think that's it I don't have much more to say about this one again it looks kind of basic now that I have it on but I felt like I needed it because it is a really nice balm with a really nice undertone and it just feels delicious on the lips <laughs> I have two other balmy lipsticks that I'm keeping but those have more color a little bit more of a personality to them so I think this is the only true lip balm that I am keeping in a solid form the next one is my favorite Pat McGrath lipstick ever and it is the vinyl lipstick in the color nude venus i honestly can't believe how basic this looks without a lip liner because i always use it with a lip liner this is my most recommended pat mcgrath lipstick ever i'm always telling you guys to get it and right now it looks kind of basic again a lip liner makes all of the difference with these types of lipsticks because they're kind of like on the sheer side but they feel amazing they have really beautiful undertones. I definitely love the pinky undertone that this one has and it feels so delicious on the lips. I love this formula from Pat McGrath so much and this color specifically, Nude Venus, is my favorite. Here it is with the smallest amount of lip liner around it just for demo purposes. I love it. It just feels so good. It's just so juicy. You don't need a gloss with it. It has a bit of color. It feels like a balm, but it shines like a gloss. It's just delicious. This next one is my last lip balmy type of lipstick, and from here on, it's all bullets that we have left. 
This one right here is the Pillow Talk Happy Kiss. This is a perfect three-in-one type of lipstick. It has the color and coverage of a lipstick. It has the shine of a gloss and it feels like a lip balm. This one has hyaluronic acid in it, so it's actually going to be very hydrating for the skin on your lips. And again, it is the perfect combination of all the types of lipstick that you wanna have. Pigmentation-wise, it looks just like a lipstick. It feels like a balm, maybe like a little bit more sticky than a balm, but it has the shine of a lip gloss, so it is just perfection in my eyes. The Pillow Talk color is beautiful, and I just absolutely love the way this one looks. We have six lipsticks to go, and they're all cream bullet lipsticks. Let's continue with Charlotte Tilbury. The next one I would definitely need in my collection is a true medium-toned neutral brown. And the one I chose is Very Victoria by Charlotte Tilbury. There is just not a more perfect lipstick. If I could keep one lipstick out of my whole collection of lipsticks, I think this right here would be it. I know. I know. That is a lot to say. But look at it. It is just the most perfect nude lipstick ever. It is not too light. It is not too dark. It is not too pink. It is not too orange. It is just perfect, neutral, beautiful, a little bit of a hint of brown. It has the most perfect matte finish to it. And Charlotte Tilbury matte lipsticks are delicious to wear. They feel creamy, they feel fantastic, they last for a very long time. I usually pair this one with the Iconic Nude lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury and it is a match made in heaven. Those two together are glorious. But even without a lip liner, I feel like you can get away with wearing Very Victoria. It is my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I like it much more than Pillow Talk, let me tell you. And it looks good on everybody. I'm going to mention a video I made last year with my grandma. I'm going to actually link it up there if you guys are interested. It is my favorite YouTube video I have ever made in my life. That is how much I love it. And grandma and I were both wearing this lipstick right here. <laughs> so Very Victoria is a lovely lipstick and I think everybody needs it. Unless you don't like brown. I remember when I worked at the store, a lot of people are just like, allergic to brown, anything that looks remotely brown, they don't want it. If you're one of those, don't get this one. But if you like a brown nude lipstick, this right here, perfection. Chef's kiss, my favorite. Last Charlotte Tilbury lipstick is actually my first Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that I ever bought, and that is JK Magic. I'm unsure how this one's going to look without a lip liner, but let's see. This is a Charlotte Tilbury cream lipstick. It has a beautiful satin finish. This one is a very light nude with a bit of a warm undertone, but it's not too warm at all. It actually doesn't look too bad without a lip liner. I personally love to wear this one with the iconic nude lip liner from Charlotte or any other more brown toned lip liner. With any like brown neutral eye look, this is delicious and beautiful and stunning and just like one of my favorite lipsticks ever. I definitely love this formula. This is Charlotte's refillable packaging, so you can just order the bullet later on if you finish it. And this is my favorite light nude with a little bit of a hint of warm lipstick, and I would definitely need it if I were to only keep these for the rest of my life. Four lipsticks to go, I can't wait. Natasha Denona Cream lipsticks have become an instant favorite for me and I couldn't not mention them in this video. I would definitely keep those if I had to. This first one I'm showing you is the color Amorosa from the I Need a Nude lipstick collection from Natasha. I usually wear this one with a lip liner, however, it has a really nice coverage to the lipstick so you don't necessarily have to have a lip liner with it. This is a cool tone nude lipstick with a beautiful satin finish to it. It feels very creamy, very hydrating on the lips. It lasts quite a while, not through a meal or anything crazy like that, but it does last quite a little bit of time on. And I absolutely love to pair this one with any kind of neutral to cool tone look. I feel like it pairs really nicely with my eye look today. I definitely would wear it with a lip liner, but this is what it looks like without. I'm looking back at all the lipsticks that I've tried, and there's nothing quite like this one. Um, the first one, which was the Bobbi Brown Cool Nude, is much lighter, and everything else just has a bit of a different undertone. I feel like I can have a million different nude lipsticks and see them all differently, okay? So, but, <laughs> but truly, this is my favorite Natasha Denona lipstick, period. Um, I love the formula, and the color is perfection. 
This next one is also from Natasha Denona and it is in the color Avril. This one I would definitely need to keep in my collection because it is a really nice medium toned lipstick that has a little bit of a pinky purpley undertone to it. So it's not quite a nude but it's not really a pink or a red either. It just is one of those in-between shades that are so flattering on so many skin tones. You can wear this one with the smoky eye the way I'm doing today or if you wear it with something much lighter it'll just take a little bit more of a center stage because it is a lipstick that stands out. If you're someone who likes medium tone lipsticks because you feel like anything lighter washes you out, this is the kind of lipstick that I would definitely recommend for you because it has a really nice amount of color and pigment to it but it's still very wearable and you can pair it with a bunch of different things. So I think this this one I would definitely keep in my top 20 because it is a little bit different and I can wear it when I don't want to wear a nude, which is never, but I might need it. Two lipsticks to go! Okay. Now of course I had to mention the cream lipstick formula from Huda Beauty because I have been obsessed with it since it came out and I have two lipsticks to show you in that formula. Lipstick number one, Habibi, which is also one of those medium toned type of colors that are very flattering if you don't like nudes. This one has a little bit more brown in it and it's more cool toned than the Natasha Denona one that I just showed you, but it's still that medium toned type of lipstick that is so flattering on so many different skin tones. This is definitely one of my top favorite lipstick colors from this new Huda Beauty line. Here's what I love about this creamy formula from Huda. Look at how much shine this lipstick has. It looks like I have a gloss on top of it, but I don't. This is just the shine that the bullet lipstick gives me. This color I think is so flattering. I could pair it with absolutely anything. It even looks really good and not contrasting at all with this beautiful purple eyeshadow look that I have on. There's just not enough good things that I can say about this lipstick. I love it. If you haven't tried Habibi from Huda yet, I more than recommend it. It has become one of my top favorite lipsticks in my collection and I don't even like to wear dark lipsticks like this. I feel like this looks kind of dark on me, but I love it. <laughs> Last but not least, with the same formula, the color Hustle, I feel like this is a true nude undertone type of lipstick. It has the same shine to it, it looks beautiful. It pairs amazingly with a bunch of different looks. I could be wearing something warm and it would look just as good as it looks with this very cool toned eye look that I have on right now. I think that this one is one that I definitely prefer with a lip liner, but it could be that I just don't even know where my lip lines are anymore because this is lipstick number 20 right here in my 20 lipstick collection is complete. I absolutely love this lipstick and every single other lipstick I talked about in this video. I apologize in advance if I said the words absolutely and love a million times in this video, but that is just what tends to happen when I have to pick my most favorite of anything in my collection. I would only keep the best of the best, the things that I absolutely love, you know? Anyways, <laughs> um, I truly hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up before you leave. Definitely go check out the 20 lipsticks that my friend Charlotte Holcroft is keeping in her collection. I feel like she's much more adventurous with her lipsticks than I am and she also has a more medium to tan skin tone so you can see what lipsticks are the most flattering on a medium to tan skin tone. Charlotte, if you're watching this video, I hate you because my lips are on fire and I've been sitting on this chair for the past three hours. Just kidding. I love you, but damn girl. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you need any of these lipsticks, check them out in the description box down there. I linked them all for you. Um, and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye!